Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Welcome to today's lesson on business transaction and their recording. In our previous lesson, we have seen about posting the opening entry to the ledger. Let me remind you some of the main points. Posting means copying amounts from the journal to the ledger. Each of the amounts in the opening entry is transferred to the proper account in the ledger. An account needs to be opened for each account shown in the chart of accounts. In addition, the steps required in posting from journal to ledger are discussed. Let's begin today's lesson with the meaning of business transactions. Business transactions are economic events that affect a company's financial position. It is an economic event that causes a change, either an increase or a decrease on asset, liabilities, or owner's equity. The change is reflected in the accounting system of the business. When a business buys a computer with cash, its cash decreases, but its computer equipment increases. It records increases and decreases caused by business transaction in specific accounts. Students, let's discuss how a business transaction can be analyzed. Business transactions should be analyzed by answering the following questions. What happened? What kind of business took place? Did we charge our customer for something? Get money for something? Buy something? Etc. What accounts will change? Identify and classify the accounts affected. An account called asset, liability, owner's equity is where we keep information on anything we wish to know about individually. For example, we have an account for money or cash where we keep track of the increases, decreases, and balance. Every business transaction affects at least two accounts. Students, further, we need to ask the following questions in the analysis of business transaction. How will accounts change? Determine the amount of increase or decrease for each amount affected. Do they get a debit or credit? It is a method to help the analysis and it helps your thoughts process without the formality of general journal entries. The actual recording and posting of expense and income transactions are treated in the following topic. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. What is a business transaction? How does purchased equipment on credit affect the three parts of accounting equation?
students, did you answer the question? Well, let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. Business transactions are economic events that affect a company's financial position. The equipment increases and an obligation to pay also increases. Now let us discuss how the actual recording and posting of expense and income transactions are treated. First, let's discuss the income transaction. Most businesses are in operation for the purpose of earning a profit. Revenues are the gross increase in owner's equity resulting from business activities entered into for the purpose of earning income. Generally, revenues result from selling merchandise, performing services, renting property, and lending money. An increase in proprietorship or owner's equity that results from the operation of the business is called income. Income is sometimes called revenue. All income increases are recorded on the credit side. Expenses are the cost of assets consumed or services used in the process of earning revenue. They decrease in owner's equity that result from operating the business. For example, Compass Restaurant recognizes the following expenses. Cost of ingredients such as meat, floor, cheese, and tomato paste. Cost of beverages, wages expense, utility expense such as electric, gas and water expense, telephone expense, delivery expense such as gasoline, repairs and licenses, supplies expense such as napkins, detergents and aprons, rent expense, interest expense and property tax expense. All expense transactions cause a decrease in proprietorship. All increase in expense accounts are recorded on the debit side because they had a negative impact on the activity of the business. Students, now let's illustrate with the following example for revenue transaction. Transaction number one. On Meskaram 20, 2005, received cash, Bir 150, from sales of beauty salon service. The steps required to analyze the transaction is shown as follows. Step 1. Determine the name of accounts affected, cash and sales. Step 2. Determine the classification of each account affected. Cash is an asset account and sales is an income account. Step 3. Determine how the balance of each of these accounts is changed. Haraguen Abuyi's beauty salon has more cash as a result of receiving Bir 150 from its sales of one day. The balance of the cash account an asset account is increased by 150 bir. The balance side of every asset account is the debit side. The cash account is therefore debited for the amount of the increase bir 150. The income of Haraguen Apoy has been increased by bir 150 as a result of receiving cash from service rendered by beauty salon. The balance side of every income account is the credit side. Therefore, the income cell is credited 
for the amount of the increase bir 150. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the student sitting next to you. You have two minutes. The company determined that cash receipts for laundry services for the month Maskaram 30, 2005 were bir 6,200. Instructions. Analyze the transactions. Open major accounts and post an appropriate account. Use laundry service income. Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now do the activity together. Analyzing the transaction is shown as follows. Step 1. Determine the name of accounts affected, cash and laundry service income. Step 2. Determine the classification of each account affected. Cash is an asset account and laundry service income is an income account. Step 3. Determine how the balance of each of these accounts is changed. The business has more cash as a result of receiving bir 6200 from its laundry service. The balance of the cash account, an asset account, is increased by 6,200 bir. The cash account is debited for the amount of the increase bir 6,200. On the other side, the income of business has been increased by bir 6,200 as a result of receiving cash from service rendered. The laundry service income is credited for the amount of the increase bir 6200. Students, if you understand how to analyze the income transaction, let's proceed on how to analyze an expense transaction. Transaction number 2. On Muscadam 30, 2005, Paid cash 1,200 for rent of the house for the month of Mescaram. Analyzing transaction number two. The steps in analyzing transaction number two are 
Step 1. Determine the names of the accounts affected, rent expense and cash. Step 2. Determine the classification of each account affected. Rent expense is an expense account and cash is an asset account. Step 3. Determine how the balance of each of these accounts is changed. The operating expenses of Haragoin Beauty Salon has been increased by 1,200 per as a result of paying the monthly rent. The balance side of any expense account is the debit side. Therefore, the expense account, rent expense, is debited for the amount of the increase per 1,200. Haragoin Beauty Salon has less cash as a result of having paid the monthly rent. The balance of the cash account, an asset account, is decreased by 1,200 per. All decreases in any account balance are always recorded on the side opposite of the balance side. The cash account is therefore credited for the amount of the decrease per 1,200. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the students sitting next to you. You have two minutes. Paid cash per 120 for washing the delivery truck. Use delivery truck expense. Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. The steps in analyzing transaction are Step 1. Determine the names of the accounts affected. Delivery truck expense and cash. Step 2. Determine the classification of each account affected. Delivery truck expense is an expense account and cash is an asset account. Step 3. Determine how the balance of each of these accounts is changed. 
delivery truck expense is debited for the amount of the increase BIR 120. The cash account is credited for the amount of the decrease BIR 120. Let me wind up today's discussion by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned about some important points on business transaction. Basically, we have discussed the following. Business transactions are economic events that affect a company's financial position. Business transactions should be analyzed by answering the following questions. What happened? What accounts will change? How will the accounts change? Do they get a debit or credit? Students, in our next lesson, we will discuss the six-column worksheet and profit-loss analysis. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. See you next time in another program. Until then, goodbye teacher, goodbye students. Thank you.